Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking all about how to conquer your very first drop and for that I'm joined by Emily Horridge, guest presenter here, Masters World Downhill Champ, who's going to be taking us through a few things. Yeah, thanks very much Rich. Yeah, so we're going to, uh, we're going to be having a look at the drop off, a really valuable skill to have. It's a classic trail obstacle, so let's get into it. drop-off is like a tall step but the trouble is you can't roll over it because the bottom of your bike might catch as mm. you as you do so yeah so you're gonna have to actually lift the front wheel up but how do we do that well let's get into it when you roll off a step your front wheel obviously drops down so we want to counter this by sliding our hips back and allowing the arms to extend forwards this is going to help keep the front wheel up and with the correct speed and timing that's going to mean that both your wheels land on the ground at the same time Let's start off then with the body English that we're going to need to make this happen. Now, it all comes from the hips and you definitely shouldn't be pulling with the arms, Em. That's quite right. Ooh. Let's have a look. Roll along and practice moving your hips down over the saddle and sliding them back in one quick movement. Allow your arms to extend forward and you should find that the front of the bike just starts to unweight or even the front wheel might come up. Next, let's take it to a small drop like this one. It's, you could even take it to just the humble curb, but this is a great place, low consequence, where you can practice your speed and timing. And you know what? If it goes wrong, it doesn't even matter. When you do get it right, it'll be mint. Yeah. The aim is to have both your wheels land at the same time, or at least the rear wheel first. We want to be sliding our hips back and extending those arms forward just as the front wheel reaches the edge. <sighs> okay, I think I've got this, Em. You're going to have to let me know how I get on. I will. Oh, she... <laughs> Here we go, <laughs> dropping in. Okay. Oh, oh, well, your body movement was really good, Painter, but you just need to go a little bit faster. Oh. Go on, have another go. I felt the front end just drop a bit, Em. Yeah, I felt that was a bit scary. Okay, Em, here I come for take two. All right. More speed. Yeah. Oh. Like a boss. That was way better, Em. Wasn't it just? Just a little bit more speed makes all the difference. Coaching genius. More speed equals more clearance. Right then, Em. A great thing, the practice here is almost trying to go off that drop as slowly as you can, but still land with both wheels on the ground at the same time, nice and smoothly. But when you do this, you're going to have to exaggerate that body movement, those hips shifting back even more to try and keep the front wheel up. And this is a great thing to practice in case you come across any unexpected drops out on the trail. Yeah, absolutely. And on the flip side, the faster you go, Ooh. the less you're going to need to do, the less movement you're going to need with your hips. But be careful when you bring the speed in. It's easy to confuse speed with technique, so just bring that speed in when you're starting to land really consistently, both wheels at the same time. Right then, Em, there are definitely some things to avoid when doing drops. And luckily, we've got a few of them to tell the guys and girls out there. So, what have we got first? Well, the most common one is just trying to pull the front of the bike up just by pulling with your arms and Oof. getting a bend at the elbow. We don't want that because if you do that, the front wheel is going to drop straight down yep. and you might go over the bars. Oh. We don't want that. We so if you've got that. that problem, just really work on that hip movement. Make sure you've got that really dialed in. You want to extend those arms forward. No bending. No bending, extending. Next thing then, make sure you've got a decent run up. This is gonna give you time to get settled, get prepared and get your body in the right position to tackle the drop and also get in the correct gear. Too easy, you'll be spinning away. Too hard and you might find it to get up to pace getting there. But Em's lined up, ready to go. Let's see how she gets on. Send her on in Em, let's see how we go. Oh my goodness, that is a, spinning a million miles an hour. I think maybe a bit more of a run up and a bit of an harder gear for that one. Crikey, Em, that was a high <laughs> cadence. Okay, take two. Em's gone for a bigger run up and I hope she's changed gear, but let's find out. Let's see how you go, Em. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's looking better. She's looking composed and she has sent it one. There you go. Bigger run up, correct gear, more time to get in the right body position equals better sends. Better sends are always better. So another couple of things. Be careful with your, with your braking. 
don't do any last minute braking just before the drop because that's going to bring your weight forward and we're actually trying to get the weight back. Let's see what Painter does. Okay, um, I think I'm going. Whoa! Oh, oh my word! Oh my god! Good god, you're up, Nolly! <laughs> I braked right on the edge of that one, that was terrifying. I was. As you're coming off the drop, as you get to the end, make sure you're looking at your landing. You don't want to focus on the edge. Just go, whew, look down there, land right away like a boss. Right then, Em, some absolute banger tips to help people conquer their very first drops. And I think once they've done that, which they definitely will, they can move on to slightly bigger gapped drops like this, where they've got to make it to a landing. But there is a video for that link in the description below to tackle more advanced drops, isn't there? Yeah, so thanks very much for having me on today. It's an absolute pleasure. Not a problem. Hope everybody's enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to give us a like. Oh yeah, catch you next time, everyone. See you later. <laughs>